How many of you have heard of N95 mask before this year? Not much, right? Have you ever wondered how these masks works? It's entirely different from the normal filters or strains. Wanna know? You are at the right place. Welcome to Physics Oversimplified. A normal mask works if the incoming particles are larger than the mask pore size. But how do we stop incoming particles like viruses whose diameter is below 0.1 micron which is way even smaller than the visible light wavelength? We cannot decrease the pore size since it affects respiration. So how do we do that? There comes the N95 masks. They work using some amazing physics stuff. They work by three methods. First one is the inertial impaction. Particles of the order of 1 micron gets slammed into the fiber material and gets filtered which is similar to a normal mass operation. Second one is the diffusion. Particles smaller than 0.1 micron travels in zigzag ways and this motion is called Brownian motion. Since they are very small, the effect of Van der Waals force is greater in them and therefore they will be attracted to the mask fibers. Adding more layers of fibers increases the probability of filtering such particles. But how do we stop the particles between 1 micron and 0.1 micron? There comes the beauty of physics. The N95 mass fibers are electrocharged, that means that they possess electrostatic energy, which is familiar to you from high school classes. Oh yes, the same energy which erects your hair when you touch a balloon after rubbing it with a cloth. This static field creates charge separation in the particles and therefore they are attracted to the mask. So make sure you are wearing an N95 mask before going outside. The ordinary cloth or fiber mask cannot protect you from the virus. So stay home and let together end this pandemic.